then um, I want to see is um, given these controllers, uh, given these controllers here, I want to see the response to the CT. Basically, here I want to see the unit step response of the output, closed loop output to the unit step input. We see what happens. Okay. So, again, right now I'm going to use is using the unit uh, step. So, I'm going to use step functions. And step function basically is applied to the systems of the uh, closed loop system, which means it is applied to this. Um, apply to this one. So that is the COR, okay? So step input is COR is uh, denominate uh, numerators, closed loop system, and denominator of the closed loop system. So that one will be new C and DMC, right? Okay, I'm going to have this one ready. And so for this case, right now we have GC, let me erase this portion here. So from here, you do need to do kind of do certain calculations. C C over C R is G C times uh, G and one plus G C times G, right? So right now, for our case, G is this and G C right now is equal to we have the value here K P and one plus one T I S plus T D S, right? The T D S do the calculations, and that will take a few minutes, okay? And that one basically will be equal to, I think Balab has also other functions to help us do this kind of, do this kind of uh, calculations. I simply be lazy, I don't, I didn't spend time to dig out the command. Because when I learn how to use it, then I finish my calculation here. So I know. Okay, so here is my suggestions. So the numerators, I simply, do, uh, when I do my calculations, rather than, for example, as plus one, as plus two, or something like one, rather than uh, implementing into this, I simply do my calculation is this. I simply write up my form is one, three, and two, because this one can save my time in writing. Okay, so here is my result here. So that is KP multiplied with uh, TI times TD and TI and 1. Okay, basically it's in descending order as square, as term, and uh, constant term. Okay, uh, numerator, denominator is TI 13, TI 32, TI plus KP, TITD, and 20, TI, plus KP, TI, and KP. Okay, so I simply put it this way, and then we simply type it here. So, Okay, so hopefully there's no mistake. Let me double check. KPTI, KPTI1, KPTI1. Okay, so now I simply uh, using a system that's a closed loop and equal to transfer functions, numerators, and denominators, and then step. Save it. So save, and let me say that is a click, clicker, uh, clicker method. So type in the 
again, you know. Uh, okay, so that is root flag face. And if I if you wish, we can have the change the time right now simulating is from zero to five. So if you like you can set up um, say uh, point zero five. Okay, so this one basically I'm asking the simulation to go to 10 seconds rather than 5 seconds here. Okay, so, and let me set it and run that again. Okay, so basically right now you can see, and if you like, you can do the calculation. I guarantee this one steady state error should be zero. Okay, because that including eye control. Okay. So that is the first step, and from, um, From the suggest from the suggested uh, values, we found that is the system response. And here you can see these uh, have a very good, not very good, very bad, and very large. The overpeak, I think, it's about uh, one point five five. Okay, uh, one hundred fifty five percent. So. Of course, this one, if you are okay, then we can stop here, but if you kind of peek here, I want to reduce the overpick here down further. So now is a good time we can begin to fine-tuning. Fine-tuning, that means we uh, hopefully you'll find a good way to tune those parameters um, then to bring down. So for example, now my goal is to have the overpick less. And how to get the overpick less? Do you have any memory from what we learned last last week? Last week we have learned the three kinds of the controller: P controller, PI controller, and PD controller. And these are the summary we done last uh, Friday. So find out any way we can start with from the summary here. So if we wish to have a less overpeak, which means we wish the system have more damage then what controller we can, would that be D controller, right? So basically here our strategy is to have a closed loop system have more damping. More damping that means hopefully the peak will be reduced. Then we have to use the D controller or in other words, we need to enhance the role of the D controllers. So that means we simply increase the value of the D. Okay, so that's the thinking. So now for this one, I randomly, okay, so I would say five. We see what happens. So let me hold on the figures and then we see. So let me rerun this again. Okay, so you can see the red one is the revised one. The red one compared to you, you can see that one we have a much smaller peak. Um, but also, um, it's also changing the dynamics and maybe the settling the other time kind of index will be changed as well. But in terms of our goal, we reduce the over peak seems the strategy is good. Okay? So that is the, the method, and then if you say, I want to do something else, and you keep playing. You okay? So that is for this example here. Um, again, here for this example, I haven't assigned the design criteria yet. If we do, then we simply keep fine-tuning those things until those criteria have been, been, been met. But here we simply will stop here with a B. I think this should be good enough. Okay. Um, any questions about this? Seems good, right? I do have a questions. So here we simply increase the, the D value and we reach this one. So what really is the, uh, the real world, how to say? When we do something good, we always have to sacrifice or compromise something else, right? So what things behind the, the I can tell you uh, because we increase the D portions. So basically here, 
for the revised system, it's going to consume more input power to do the work. Okay, and, and for all the linear systems here, we don't consider any saturation constraint. And if your power uh, of doing the revised version is going to approach or exceed this, the physical system constraint, then basically you bring yourself additional considerations. You better to reduce the value to make the, the kind of the constraint. So that could be the possible way, could be possible that possibly happen in the real world. However, you want to increase the power that when you're going to increase the control's capacity, then basically you're going to consume more power. So that is always the first rule of thumb in, in doing these things. Okay. So this is for the first method. Um, any questions? No? Then we done this section here.